don't look out cheesy. Good day. It's still your girl of Malala Natural. I was still on the series Sex and Marriage. Great sex make marriages interesting. And you cannot know how to go about great sex if you don't learn. Like every other thing we learn, great sex needs to be learned. So today we are going to be talking about great sex. Yeah, that's it. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, remember to comment, remember to share. You know, let other people, especially married people, benefit from those things that we teach. Now, a good sex doesn't have to end in orgasm. When a sex is really good, it doesn't really have to end in orgasm every time. You know, you don't even need a hard penis to achieve a good sex. So what constitutes great sex? I'm going to be mentioning some things that make sex great. Like, wow, like, ha, ah, I had a good time. Okay, number one is authenticity. It is important that you are truthful. It is important that you are hopeful. It is important that you have no eating. You know, this authenticity is making me think of, like, you have one eating, maybe a boy, a partner outside your marriage, and then your spouse is having sex with you, and then you're thinking of the person, and then you mention the person they mistakenly. Error. So you have to be authentic, you have to be open, you have to be truthful, you have to be you. Just free yourself. Let go of whatever body, whatever anger you might carry against your spouse. Let go. Just open. And in that way, you would enjoy great sex. Another way is connection. And I mentioned in one of our videos that achieving orgasm makes women connect. So you must look for that thing that connects you and your spouse both sides that's it that connects you. you you must feel that connection you must have that connection to have great sex so it's not about oh he just wants to satisfy himself let him do what he wants to do and he go oh, okay she wants to there has to be connection both parties must be involved sex great sex is not a one-man game it's both parties like it's pushing you're pushing whatever style you're both active like okay raise your leg this way okay how do you want me connection you have to connect you have to communicate you have to flow you have to be in to in you know into each other this makes sex great another thing is extraordinary communication sex involves going raw sex involves saying it the way you feel it oh no i can't feel it deep that style can we change the style a bit can you move your buttocks a bit can you raise the leg this way okay can we try this angle can i put my two legs up are you comfortable the way you're resting on your hand and jacking? Communicate. Ha! I can feel it deep. Communicate. You don't have to say it in English. Use your language if you have to. The main point is communicate. Go raw on your communication when it comes to the issue of sex. Go raw. Why should you? I keep saying it. Why should you be shy? It's your spouse we are talking about here. And you are sold out to your spouse, body, soul, spirit, naked, covered. So go raw. Communicate. Tell your spouse the way you like it. Tell your spouse, okay, your spouse is actually fucking you in a way that you're not feeling it. Tell your spouse, no, this, I'm not feeling it this way. Can we change the style? Can we shift? Sometimes it might just be a little change of angle and then you feel that pain is eating you deep. It might just be a little change of angle and then even the guy just feels, oh, wow. Communicate. Communicate is very important. And when I talk about communication during sex, go raw. Totally raw. It's also important that you are fully present while after sex if you want to enjoy great sex. Be there. It's not just your body. And then your mind is calculating, I need to attend this business meeting. I need to collect this money. As in, be there. Be present. Be in the moment. Erase every other thought. Every worry. Remember I said that emotion, being emotionally balanced is very important for great sex. And this part of this um, part of the way it works, you have to be present. Forget every worry, forget every trouble. Be emotionally balanced. It's very important in having great sex. Another thing is deep intimacy. Deep intimacy is very important in having a great sex. Deep intimacy is very important. So, um, how do you achieve this? It's most time not by rushing into the sexual, into the agna. I understand sometimes that quick is necessary, you know. She's doing something in the kitchen and she's bent over and you just quickly shooting from behind. I understand. Quick is sometimes you're even rushing out and you say, I'll die. 
sometimes you're you're in a hurry for work you know i talked about morning sex early morning sex hey sometimes that early morning sex could be quickie now I understand the part of quickie but quickie is not every time some you know when you want to genuinely have the sex it's very important that you go intimate and intimacy involves deep romance deep romance exploring each other but you should know all the parts of your spouse body that has spots that has mark exploring you know just looking at your spouse body training your finger and admiring oh see your cough oh see you're talking to your man and you're like ah, i can count your rib as in deep intimacy you have to explore each other body it's very important to have great sex i like the this next part vulnerability like you let go of yourself you let go of your guard you are open to learning and your spouse is telling you let's try this style you're open it it, it allows couples have great sex be vulnerable be be free be open let down your guard as in let it down just let yourself go be open to try new things be open to welcome new ideas be open to welcome new styles be open to just just let go of your rigidity and your you know, if you feel ah your your, your spouse telling you okay turn this way and you feel hey my body will break try still try first it's important to be vulnerable and it's it's, it's important to also um for you to have great sense being transcendent is very important mm -hmm. and this means hmm, i like that part be ready to climb high and cross boundaries being transcendent grants you great sex. Cross boundaries. I don't know what it is you know about sex. Oh, they've told you sex is... And I am sure that you understand that sex is not majorly for recreation, procreation. Sex is not majorly for procreation. I'm sure you understand that. Sex is for fun. Sex is for... To free yourself, to relieve yourself of stress. So you must be able to just let go of whatever belief you have of sex, whatever belief, whatever you learned of, whatever style. Oh, sex is just for one part. Too. Being transcendent means you are ready to climb high, to go to the highest heights that act can take you and cross boundaries cross boundaries talk to yourself do you like oral sex let's try it i don't know i don't know if i'll enjoy it let's try it that's cross boundaries oh do you like me to use my fingers into your vagina i don't know let's try it try don't say i ah, know i cannot try try when you've tried it and you don't like it it's okay fine i don't like this we won't do that again oh would you like me to suck your dick with ice blood? i don't know try you know when you've tried it and you don't enjoy it then you can stop it move on so it's if you want to really have great sex as couples spice it up be ready to climb all high and break boundaries break boundaries i keep repeating this break boundaries you'll be glad you did another thing is to explore explore there are different styles of sex I, I, I mentioned some in um, I've mentioned some over and over in some videos. I've spoken about six and nine. I've spoken about uh, we all know about doggy. I did a video on the best way to go about doggy style. You know, there are there are different there are different styles of sex. You know, there's the one you put your two legs up, there's the one you raise. In fact, if you're home alone that you don't have children, there's this one that you just tie a club like a swing and you're sitting on the swing as a lady and See, there are different styles. Be ready to explore. Explore. Try other styles. And you know the good thing about trying different styles? You feel different sensation. There are some styles that you feel the penis deep out. There are some type, style that you feel it sideways. You feel the penis is it's going sideways. There are some styles that different styles give different sensation. And you know why people like doggy style most time? You feel it deep compared to missionary style. You don't feel it deep. So six and nine you know you're both doing different things at different time one is working on the other again one is working two sensation together at the same time and you're both morning to get morning together and you're both climbing high into the sky together try different styles introduce different things i've told you about to use honey in your sexual life i've told you about the introduction of ice block into your sexual life try different things as in explore i can't explain it enough explore explore see sex is sweet especially within marriage you have the license to do as long as as much as white as far as you want your smart body is yours 
your wife's body is yours. Ah, you know, it's just like you have a vast land, you can plant anything, you can cultivate it any way you like. So, explore, explore. I'm repeating it, explore. Then you would enjoy great sex in your marriage. It's also important that you understand that to have great sex, you take some risk. <laughs> yeah, risk. You know, I mentioned some. I said there are some styles and you're like, oh, I hope this style won't break my leg. I hope this style won't take risk. Personally, well, maybe because my job is um, as tend towards the risk side, my, my, uh, my job. So it's, so when it comes to risk, most time I don't think of it twice. It's, Two results. I love you. So, it's so, sweet. so it, and I have this mindset. I work with this mindset that if you don't try something, you keep living with. Ah, what if I tried it? So me, I would rather go try it. Then I know that I'm not thinking of what if I've tried it. I can tell you specifically. Oh, I've tried it. I didn't succeed in it, and I've moved on. Or I tried it, and it worked. Wow! And so I keep doing it. So take risk. You know, you see some styles, you read up some styles, you hear some styles, and you're like, ooh, wow. So you take risk, take risk. If you've not watched my uh, my video on sex styles, then you should search for it. Different sex styles, and the, that video is not even that's not the the limit to sex styles. Sex styles, we have thousands, as in different styles, and I'm sure it gives different sensation. You can introduce things, introduce sweets, introduce things into your sex life. Take risk, go all out, cross boundaries, and you would enjoy great sex. Finally. What makes a great lover is your ability to read your partner's pleasure. And what makes a great partner is your ability to express your pleasure to your lover. Talk to your spouse. Oh, I like the way you touched me. I like the way your finger moved. You know, I like the way your finger moved um, on my scalp or the way your finger moved. Or I like the way your finger moved. Or you tell him, I like, you know, you know, when men just shave, you know, there's this tingling. There's a way this, the, 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 what is left of your bed, there's a way it tingles when they move around. Oh, I enjoy that, you know, I like the way it tingles me. Express. And uh, as a lover, you should also know. Watch. You know when you touch some place, watch. Watch your partner, watch the reaction. Even when the eyes is closed, you know, there's a way they react. And you know, oh, this person is feeling it. There's a way they moan. There's a way they sound. And you know, this person is enjoying this. So you focus on that. person is getting tired of it, you move to another and go explore. That's what makes sex great. Explore, communicate. When you stay curious about what gives you pleasure, you can never get bored. That's it. When you're curious, you want to learn more, you want to know more about what gives you pleasure, you can never get bored. Okay, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, I'm going to try to challenge her with this week. If I'm able to get 200 likes on this video, I'm going to drop my next video immediately. I'm glad that you're watching this because without you, we actually wouldn't be doing this if you're not benefiting from it. But then I want to get 200 shares and to get 200 likes on this video, then I'm drop my next video immediately. Let's see how it goes. I hope you had a great time in our video today. Remember to like, share, comment, tell your married friends, let them come and learn. If you're yet to subscribe to our channel, now is the right time so that you would not mix so that you would not miss any of our videos it's still your girl Amolala natural the sexologist thank you don't care cheesy